Hey guys, Will here with Creative Studio. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit templates and make them your own. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in here and take a look. So I'm on the home screen of Creative Studio 3, and I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to my left-hand column and go to templates. And in here, we have a large, massive amount of templates that are at your fingertips that you can then create your own projects for and make your own, right? So there's tons of stuff in here. So feel free to dig around and see what best fits your needs, right? But let's come over here and let's use this design studio and you'll see in here, we have the options for uh, landscape, square, and vertical, right? So let's choose landscape and hit start editing. All right, and once I'm inside, you'll see that it has built out our scenes here. Let me shrink this down so we can see. And it's got a whole bunch of scenes that we can go in there and customize, right? So if I play through this, you'll see we've got our first couple of scenes. And each one of these is customizable in their own way, whether you change video clips, text, colors, um, pictures, Everything in the end there is all catered to be able to make it your own. All right, so let's start with uh, this first slide here, right? So if I select, put my cursor over this scene so I can see what's going on here, I can select this first scene and in the right under settings, you'll see there is a bunch of different um, objects and video clips that I can then replace, change the colors on and do. So let's go ahead and start doing that now. All right, so if I go over to my settings here um, with my scene selected, you'll see that I can replace up to three video clips in here, right? So let's kind of play through here and let's bring up some of these clips. So let's go to that first video. I'll go to replace and I've got some, a shot in here that maybe I can use. Um, so I'll place that one. All right. And then I can come to replace video two and let's choose this one and let's go to video three and let's choose this guy right here. All right. So now when you play this back, All right, so we've got some cool video clips that we just changed out. Now you can come in here and change the text, right? So maybe I don't want it to say get inspiration here, so I can delete that and I can paste in, let's get it, right? And then you have the option to change text if you want. You can click on the text name itself right next to the text box and it'll open up all the text properties. So from fonts to colors, alignment, spacing, all that's done within this parameter box here, right? All right, so and then of course you can change this, uh, the colors of the circles. So maybe all the red circles, Maybe I want them to be blue, so I can do that there. And then for the white circles, we can then make a little, um, maybe this reddish tint here. And then you can change the, the shapes here. You can go a little darker pink maybe um, for those guys. And then same thing with this guy, right? So just different things you can do to, uh, to adjust that. Of course, you can always change the background as well in here. And I can come in here and maybe make this white or come back and make it black. Um, however I wanna do it, you have the ability to do that here in Create Studio 3. All right, so let's take a look at another example here. And so let's come over here to this next scene in this guy. So if I play this, this has a video clip in here, right? So let's just play this here so you can see how it comes in. All right, but let's say that I don't want it to be a video clip. Maybe I want it to be a picture instead. So I can't change this because it's a video here, but what I can do is I can go into the scene itself and make some edits. So let's double click inside this scene and scroll up until I see there's the video um, section here and then double click one more time into the video. And here is the actual video. Now I wanna to go to my, my media and let's go ahead and drag in uh, this, just drag in this picture right here, right on top. All right, and then I'll extend it out so it matches up and then I can delete this video clip here. All right, so now I've got a picture. And then of course, you can see they're kind of clipped off at the top there inside that frame. So what I can do is I can pull it down a little bit and adjust it to get it in the position that I want. All right, so now let's go back to the timeline here. And so now when we scroll through it, it now reveals that photo, right? So again, just really quick tips on how to tweak the, the scenes even more so than just kind of using the, the standard by clicking on it. And it, if you want to do something more, you can always dive into the scene itself and go in there and make adjustments. All right, so now, for example, what if you don't want a scene to be in there? Like, say you got all these laid out and you don't like, for example, this scene right here and you want to get rid of it. And you want to shorten up your, your scenes. So all you got to do is, let me punch in here, select that scene and then hit delete on your keyboard and that removes the scene, right? And then all you need to do from there is select all your remainder scenes here and then just realign this guy back up with that last scene there. So now it transitions back and then you're back in there. And if you wanna adjust the transition between the two, you can click on that little green line in between the two tracks. It brings up your transition right now, it's on zoom across. Maybe you wanna do side warp, so then we can then have that go in there. So just another way to kind of customize even more and make them your own. 
Now, if you want more scenes and you kind of want to add to this, you can go to your scenes right here next to the cut page, click on scenes, go to get scenes, and it opens up all of our templated scenes, right? So for example, say I was working in this guy right here. I could bring this up. I could then download that. And then once it's done downloading, I can then add it to my scene by clicking add scene. It tells you scene has been added. I can close that. And then here's where I could drag that back into my timeline and start working with that scene, right? So quick and easy way to remove scenes and then add more if you want them all from within Create Studio 3. All right, so let's take a look at one last scene here. And this is the end kind of outro scene for our template here. And we've got some contact information and we've got some video clips to replace here. So I'm gonna have this scene selected, come over here to my settings again, and I'm gonna replace video clip and let's replace it with this guy. And then let's replace the second one with this one, right? So now we've got these two clips playing and it changed it out. We've already customized it from the video side. Now, instead of best designers, maybe I wanna say uh, best team available, right? All right, so now let's go into our text three and let's just delete all this. Right, and I'm gonna go ahead and I've already got some text, text pre-written, so I'm gonna paste that in there. Contact anytime, willstudio.com, info at willstudio.com, right? So that gives them some direction to go to um, for where to, to navigate and find my stuff, right? And then instead of hashtag create studio, we can say hashtag, uh, say Will's studio, right? So just to kind of show you how you can tweak and make things your own. And of course, if you wanna change the circle, we could change the color of that. Let's make it a darker pink. And let's go with this orange and let's make it, uh, let's go with maybe this kind of purpley color right here. All right, so I tweaked the colors, made it my own. And then if you wanna change the background, you do have that option as well. All right, we'll go ahead and keep it white. All right, so again, another way to quickly edit scenes and just make them your own all together, right? Now, if I scroll down, I've got a music track, right? Now, if I, if I don't want this music track, maybe I don't like the, the selection that's with it, I can easily delete that. And I come over here to my music and then I can navigate to maybe some happy tunes here. I can play through a few, um, I could download it. And then once I have it downloaded, I can then drag it onto my canvas and then put it into my scene here, right? So I can put this at the bottom and then play it from there. And then of course I would want to um, edit this down so it is the, the, uh, the same length as my session here. So right now I'm sitting at about uh, 37 seconds. So I can then trim this out to, to meet that, that length for my, for my clips, right? And then of course, if you wanna adjust the volume, you select your audio and you do get your volume adjustments there. And then you've got your fade ins and you can do uh, fade outs as well, all right? So again, really awesome features to be able to edit templates within Create Studio 3 and quickly push out content um, for your business. And again, you can use these templates for any type of business you have. You don't have to specifically be for these. You just customize them and make them your own. All right, hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create. I'll catch you on the next tutorial.